Hey guys, what's up? It's Melody and today we finally have the wardrobe tour. If you didn't see my other video on how to get to a minimalist wardrobe, how to build one, definitely check that out. But today we're going to go over my wardrobe in particular and there's only two things I want to cover before we get started. The first thing is to dress for the body and the lifestyle that you have. That goes without saying. But oftentimes when we're dealing with food or clothes, for some reason we can get carried away so easily. So definitely dress for the body you have. You'll never regret it. You'll always feel comfortable in the clothes and the shoes that you have. So if you have sore feet, don't try to do high heels. If you have wide feet, don't try to jam your feet into little high heels. One other tip I do want to give you is if you are into high heels, you like to wear them, definitely get these cushions for them. I'll link them in the down bar. But I've been using this for a long time so that I can wear my high heels. And my one recommendation is that when you put it on your high heel, make sure you have it in the space that you want or else it'll be hard to move because it will get less sticky over time. So I'm going to put these on my black high heels behind me so I can wear them more often. The last thing I wanna say is that if you're new here, definitely subscribe. I'm just gonna get right into it and we're gonna go through the clothes that I love the most. Hey guys, we're in my wardrobe and today we're not gonna be talking about jewelry or makeup. We're just going to be talking about clothes so that we can keep it nice and simple. I did want to say that I have up here the clothes that I use the most often and I have my hair straightener next to it. I'm about to cut my hair so I'm about to get a hair curler. So I will keep my hair supplies underneath the bathroom sink from now on. And then this area will just be for my Columbia jacket and my thermal socks, which you guys know I wear almost every day. And then over here I have a clear clip because I like everything to be clear. On the second shelf I have my black pants and then I have my dresses, black dresses that don't go on hangers because either the straps are too thin or delicate. And then in the little container over there I just have it's kind of nightgown so very short shirts and things like that that I wear to bed or I wear around the house. I wouldn't wear it outside of the house but they're so little that they're easy to keep in that little container hair ties and almost all of my bottoms that I wear outside of the house are white so I have two white shorts that are cotton and then I have a jeans white shorts and then I have a Levi's white pants and I specifically got white pants that were not tapered at the bottom so they're not skinny jeans because they help to balance it out so if you are a pear-shaped body I really recommend getting straight leg pants I highly recommend it. It makes your figure look stunning and classy, very classy. So this white pants with a jeweled belt will look amazing. White is just my thing. When I leave the house, I always like to wear white bottoms because I'm not rolling around in the mud or doing other things like that. But if you have a more active lifestyle, then you probably want to invest in blue jeans. I just think that blue looks so common because it is common. It is the most popular jean color. White, I think, really stands out. These Levi jeans, I have to get them tailored because if you have a small waist and a bigger bottom, you're never gonna find pants that fit perfectly. So don't waste your time searching. Just get a good tailor and they will make it look like it was designed for you. My jewelry station, which I'm pretty much done. When it comes to minimalism, you have an end goal. That's the great thing about it. You know what you want and once you find it, you're done. <laughs> There's an end. And then at the very bottom, I just have all of my tops, which most of them are strappy. So I got this one recently, which I really like. It's a kind of peachy pink and it's it's a nice sheer top that I wear my nippy paste with. So the tops I keep in a container so they're easy to find. Everybody is not the same. So every advice has to be taken with a grain of salt. You'll just have to do what works for you. For me, what works is to just keep it in separate categories and that's it. No special folding necessary, but I get the aesthetic. And then underneath the chair, I keep all of my nice bras, nice panties, stockings. If you guys want to see what I look for in lingerie, definitely let me know. I'm very meticulous when it comes to lingerie. I have a specific look or specific preferences that I go for. Mainly classy. I really like stockings and garters and things like that. I know that some people will get offended, but I feel like we don't talk about sex or finances enough and that's why so many people have problems in that area. 
and that's just my opinion, obviously. But let me know if you want me to talk in general and tactfully about the clothes, about the lingerie that I like. My jacket always hangs in the front. I know that some people put the heavy stuff in the back, but I use this all the time so it makes sense. Now I'm going to take it down because I need to wash it. Cat has been sleeping on it, so it has a lot of cat fur. I usually keep this in front because it's my most delicate top. It's my St. John top and it was my very first fashion choice. When you have something that's really high quality, you treat it really well and I need to get this tailored down because I've lost some weight so I need to get it tailored. It will look amazing though with my white jeans pants. It also goes really well with pencil skirts whether black or white. Whenever I pick a pencil skirt I always make sure it goes to my knees. So this dress is an organic dress from I think the brand is Horny Toad which who names their <laughs> Who names their brand that? I don't even know. <laughs> don't ask. It's not a sexual thing. It's just a organic thing. You know that people that live a little bit outside of the system are a little quirky. You guys already know this. We have my Tommy Bahama dress. I only tailor the things that flatter you already or that you really like. And this is a Shelly Siegel dress. Probably my favorite dress in the whole of all of these is my Shelly Siegel dress. I really like the brand Chelly Siegel. It's probably my newest favorite brand. I have the pants that you guys saw in my recent video. That's also Shelly Siegel. This red dress is Shelly Siegel. I just think that she designs clothes for my body type, which is pear shaped. So Shelly Siegel is very classy and very elegant and good quality. And what I really like about this black dress is that it has kind of like boning in here where it keeps everything in place so it really defines your waist area. So if you have a small waist then this will really cinch it and make it look great. There is some wiring in here somehow and you don't even feel it. It's very comfortable. And then you got this Tommy Bahama dress, sundress that I wear. It's very flattering. The color is very flattering. If you have my skin tone then greens and very bright blues look really great against that. I have had this dress for probably 10 years. It's looking more like a lingerie piece at this point. <laughs> but I love it. I just can't part with it. I love white dresses. White dresses are so hard to find because they are too sheer a lot of them. But this one has two layers. And this dress is another dress I've had for 10 years, Volcom. And it's a sundress another one of my favorites. It's a washed out blue white which is very clean looking. This one I bought in Prague. I try to go shopping at least one day whenever I'm traveling so I'm going to be going to Portugal soon and if I am going to buy something it's going to be something I can wear because I want to get use out of it and I like seeing the styles from around the world but I really like this detail. I like things that are a little bit unique this had to be tailored because it was literally like a tent. I don't know what. There was nobody who could have used all the fabric. I mean, this dress was about twice the size before she tailored it down. If the wind caught me right, I would have just blown away <laughs> across the pond, across the river, the waterway, whatever it is in Prague. So it was a good thing that there was no strong winds before I got that tailored. And this dress, it's inside out. It needs to be washed. That was my sign. It needs to be washed. This dress is my long sleeve Nicole Miller. Nicole Miller is my second favorite brand. I like anything long sleeve. Long sleeve looks amazing if you are pear shaped. Another Nicole Miller and this one is short sleeve dress. You guys have seen me in the red which is up there. I don't know if I'm going to keep the red version because I always reach for the black version. I don't know red calls a lot of attention to yourself. <laughs> So I already have this red dress, orange red dress. This I just use pretty much for airports now. And in the back here I have some lingerie and again if you want me to talk about it I will. But I have strong preferences there. And my last dress needs to be washed too. That's why it's inside out. Usually when I wear a dress once it's inside out and I determine if it needs to be washed. But it's the long sleeve dress that's very comfortable from the Splendid brand. Splendid is a brand that I really like but it is a knit brand. 
so it is more shapeless so if you like to show off your figure then it's probably not the brand for you but if you are more of a practicality gal which i definitely am splendid is your brand when it comes to dresses i don't really like skimpy skimpy clothes i like it to be more like the journalist or newscast type of wardrobe but when it comes to home clothes i will wear sundresses but i prefer stuff that is more of an art in my opinion because it makes me happy to wear it because it's somebody's passion you're wearing somebody's dream when you are buying certain brands you are paying for art you're paying for somebody's passion and their dream somebody who's really good at what they do and i think that that is worth paying for because i want to support more passion and more dreams so that is the end of the wardrobe tour if you are new here definitely give us a subscribe so that we can see you next sunday in the next minimalist and organization video thank you so much for watching